Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create an audio spectrum in After Effects. Alright, let's get started. I'll begin by making a new composition, and I'll make it HDTV 1080-2997, and I'll call it Audio Spectrum. Then I'll hit OK. I've already imported my audio file, so I'll just go ahead and drag that into my composition. And then I'll go up to Layer, New, Solid. In my solid settings, I'll make sure it's comp sized and I'll rename it Spectrum 1. And then I'll hit OK. Then I'll go up to Layer, New, Solid. In the solid settings, I'll make sure it's comp sized and then I'll hit OK. I'll rename the solid to be Spectrum 1. Then I'll go up to Effect, Generate, Audio Spectrum. In the Audio Spectrum settings, I'll change the audio layer to my audio file. Then I'll increase the thickness to 5 and my frequency bands to 600. That way I get a nice solid shape. Right now you don't really see much going on, but if I move my playhead through the timeline, you'll start to see it reacting to the audio. I'll change my end frequency to 200, and that'll give me a more zoomed in version of my frequencies. This is based solely on my own audio file, so you'll need to play with this for your own taste and your own audio file. I'll drop my maximum height to 400, and then I'll change my audio duration to 130, and that'll help smooth out some of the jarriness that comes with audio spectrums. In my hue interpolation, I'll change that to 50 degrees, and the last thing I'll do is I'll change my side options from side A and B to just side A, and that way it's only going up and not down too. Then I'll go down to my layer and I'll duplicate it, and I'll drag the duplicate below. In my Spectrum 2 settings, I'll change the maximum height to 900, and then I'll adjust my inside color and my outside color to be a little bit different than it was before. Then I'll go down to my layers and I'll duplicate it one more time and I'll drag the new one below the other two spectrums. I'll change my maximum height to 1400 and I'll change the colors once again. Then I'll select all of my layers and I'll go up to Layer, Precompose. I'll rename the new composition Spectrum Precomp and then I'll hit OK. Now I'll go up to Layer, New, Solid, and I'll make sure it's comp sized and I'll name it Background, and then I'll hit OK. I'll drag it below my spectrum, and then I'll go up to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. And I'll adjust these colors so that it's just a subtle change from a dark gray to a black. Then I'll go down to my layers and I'll duplicate the spectrum, and I'll turn off the audio on this new duplicate. I'll go up to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Then I'll change the blurriness to 35, and I'll change my layer mode to add. I'll pull up the opacity with T on the keyboard, and I'll change that value to 50%. And that'll just give the spectrum a nice glow. I'll parent the glow to the original spectrum, and then I'll just bring the spectrum down a little bit so that it's more centered to my comp. And then I'll just adjust my work area so that we get a nice little area to preview. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time.